Morning, Shane. Uh, thanks very much for joining us at, at Blue Notes for the, the morning of the annual result. Great, great to be here. It's been a, a difficult year, and not to downplay the, the very real import of the Royal Commission, but looking at the result in front of us, can you talk us through the sort of key operational drivers? It looks like capital flexibility is one, benign credit is another. Sure. So the environment has actually been pretty sound. We know the economy is in good shape. You know, we, let's not let's not forget that, and that's true in both Australia and New Zealand, our main parts of operation. Our business actually performed pretty well, and we call that out in the result. But we're also looking ahead and saying, but the environment that we're operating in today, particularly in our Australia retail business, it's pretty tough, and there's a lot of challenges out there uh, in terms of softening house prices. People are a little less confident than they've been in the past. Uh, we've been tightening up our credit standards, etc. So that's really about the outlook is a little bit more subdued uh, than it has been. And the question, quite rightly, of people like us is, what are you doing about it? And uh, we, don't, we don't think that that's a temporary shift. Uh, we think it's quite permanent. And therefore, we've been simplifying our business, readjusting our uh, operating methods so that we're fit and lean and ready to adapt for that future world. And if we then zero into some of the numbers around the result, you would say credit quality is really good and the question is can it go on? The capital side obviously is very strong and you have flexibility there. Revenue though looks looks pretty hard, you know, are they the sort of key factors? Yeah, I think they are. So let's talk about the credit quality. So the most important, there are two things happening there for, for us. One is just the environment. As I said before, the, the economy in Australia and New Zealand is really sound and in most parts of Asia as well. So there's good underlying, you know, unemployment is low, corporate balance sheets are in good shape. So the industry is experiencing the lowest credit losses or the lowest levels of risk we've seen in a generation. So that's true, so we're benefiting from that. But more importantly for us anyway, we're also seeing the benefits of decisions we've made in the past to de-risk our bank and focus on customers that we really want to have. And so what we've seen is sometimes through selling businesses, but also through readjusting our target market, particularly in the institutional bank, we've de-risked the bank and that means we're seeing uh, lower losses. So that's absolutely uh, true. You're right about revenue growth though. That is going to be much harder to come by. We've been saying that for, for three years. Actually, we're seeing it, it's not too, I don't want people to think that it's terrible out there in terms of the opportunities, but it's much harder than we've been used to. So we think the right way to, to win and prosper is to be really, really focused on productivity and cost and really be selective about where you want to grow revenue. And you, you have actually been talking about this simplification process for probably three years now, and there's been divestments, there's been a lot of work internally. Is that delivering results for shareholders then? How do you measure that? You know, in the last 30 years, the best strategy of running a bank in Australia and New Zealand was just to get big and, and do a lot more business. But in that future world of lower growth, we think it's much more about being selective, being targeted, uh, being able to adapt quickly to changing customer needs, changing community standards and just the changing environment that we work in. So being simpler, doing a few things and doing them really, really well, that's key to ANZ. Now you ask, do we see the results? Yes, today we're a simpler bank, we're a safer bank in terms of our capital levels and uh, we think we're a better quality bank in terms of the outcomes that we're uh, delivering for our shareholders. And New Zealand is a bit of a case study of simplification. It's been going on in New Zealand a lot longer than in Australia. And then New Zealand has been able to respond and it was a good part of this result. With the simplification in Australia, you know, we've had the Royal Commission, we've, we've had the mortgage market and things. Does it play a role there too? Absolutely. Actually, we've learnt a lot about New Zealand. You know, the New Zealand simplification, by the way, you know, certainly predates me as chief executive here, but I was around. Uh, at the bank. That really came about because we had these two, we actually had two banks in New Zealand, if you remember. We had ANZ and we had National Bank and we needed to merge them. But what we learned through that was the power of focus, the power of really being really deliberate and about what are we going to do well and who are we going to do it with. And you know, that's a great example. So eight years in on the New Zealand story, uh, today we run the bank for less cost than we used to in 2010. We make more revenue, have more customers, have more brand engagement, higher employee engagement, and better returns for shareholders. I mean, it's a total win-win, and we want to sort of replicate our learnings here. We've done it in our institutional bank more recently in the last three years, and we've already started on that same path uh, in Australia. There may be slightly different ways of executing, but the principles are the same. 
And indeed, the cost story is, is, I imagine, something you would point to in this result as this is not just a one-year story. The cost story's been good for a few years. It's actually been really good. In fact, we've been getting our costs in absolute terms down every single half. Now, this half, our total costs are up a little bit because we've had those uh, charges, the $700 million worth of charges we saw in terms of customer remediation uh, and compensation, which is really unfortunate, but it's the right thing to do. But if we just kind of put those aside as a bit of a one-off, again, our underlying costs were down. You know, when I started uh, in the role, we used to run the bank, it used to cost us around $9.5 billion a year to run the bank, and now it's about $8.5 billion. And so we've seen a significant improvement in our own productivity. And when, you, when we look at the, the banking sector, not just in Australia, but in all the regions where we operate, New Zealand and Asia, it is, as you say, it's not a sort of glowingly optimistic picture, but where do you see the competitive advantage? You talk about it's not all doom and gloom. Is that because there's a competitive advantage that you see for yourself? Absolutely. I mean, you know, we, so we've redefined what we want to do. We want to be the best bank for people who want to buy and own a home or start, run and grow a small business in Australia and New Zealand. Right? And then secondly, we want to be the best institutional bank for customers who are in the business of moving goods and money around the region. So that's kind of reimagining what we do as opposed to just saying, oh, we provide credit cards or we do trade finance, yeah? Now we're at the early stages of that, but we think we've got some really terrific assets. We have an almost unique uh, international footprint. You know, we have something that most banks would uh, love to have, but we've got that. We've got, you know, eight million loyal, decent, good customers who despite some of the issues we've had around things that are coming up in the Royal Commission and despite some trust issues that are very real, still actually believe in the bank and, and are loyal uh, customers of us. And we have a track record of innovation. It needs to improve and we need to improve our speed of innovation and delivery, but we've got those three really important assets. So I think we talk about our network, we talk about our customer base and a history and a track record of innovation. We think that places us in a position to, to, to win and prosper in a, in a future more difficult world. Well, thanks again very much for speaking with Blue Notes this morning. Good, good luck with the presentation this afternoon. Thank you. I'll go and put a tie on and I'll be, I'll be ready. Thanks, Shane.